my name is Mary and I work at the First Colony Branch Library and today I'm going to show you how to make sun prints. Now there are a lot of different ways that you can make sun prints. Uh, one of the most common is uh, cyanotype which uses a chemical process that makes those distinctive blue and white prints but today we're going to do something called an anthotype. An anthotype uses kind of a botanical emulsion um, so flower petals, leaves, fruits, vegetables and you coat your paper with that emulsion and you put something on top of it and then you expose that to sunlight and it will make a print. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to use onion skins and blackberries to make an emulsion. So let me take you over to my desk and we'll get started. To start with you're going to need um, some paper. I like to use index cards. Some glass. Uh, these are just pieces that I borrowed from one of my photo frames. A sponge brush or paint brush, whatever you have handy. And whatever you want to put on top whatever type of image you want to make. So I'm going to use this plastic fern leaf that I have and I just cut a little dragon out of paper. So whatever you want to make, uh, pretty simple. The solution that I've made, um, the first one is this here. It's kind of an orange liquid and I made this with onion skins. And all you do is you take the outer layer of an onion and you boil it and the water turns orange and that's what you're going to use. I'll insert a clip here when I made this so you can see what it looks like. Okay, and then the next one I have, it's with blackberries and all I did was mash them up, mash them up and push them through a strainer to get the seeds out. Um, that step is not necessary, but if you want a kind of smoother layer without the imperfections of seeds, um, I would put them through a fine mesh sieve like this. And then all you do is you coat your paper. It's a light coat. See, it doesn't really change the color very much. And then you'll let this dry. Let me move it out of the way. All right, and we'll move on to the blackberries. This should be a little darker. Okay, move that out of the way. Again, we're gonna let this dry. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I have my two coated pieces of paper, and now what you can do is place your objects on top of them, and then place your glass on top. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two uh, sun prints and you're gonna place them in the sun for a couple of days. Um, so I'm going to go do that and then I'll meet you back here in a few days and I'll show you the results. All right, so it's been about four days and I want to show you the results. Um, unfortunately it's been about four cloudy days, so the results aren't as dramatic as I was hoping for, but you can start to see the outline of the dragon here, um, the blackberry one. And then on the onion skin print, you can start to see the outline of the fern. So I'm actually going to put the dragon and the fern back on top of these and keep exposing them. Now with uh, anthotypes, uh, each emulsion kind of needs a different exposure time. So some of them will take a few days, some of them a few weeks might be better. Um, I'll insert a picture of one that I made over the course of a few weeks with violet petals. Um, that one's a little more dramatic than these. It's kind of the fun thing with anthotypes. You can use a lot of things that you have around your house and start kind of learning how the photographic process works. Um, and one thing that I really appreciate about this art form is that it's not permanent. Um, as soon as you remove the object on top of these, your image is going to start fading. Um, there's no kind of fixer solution like there is with normal photography. Um, of course, you can scan it or take a picture of it to, you know, make a permanent image. 
Um, but it's just a fun way to experiment with photography um, with easily accessible things you can get at home. So I hope you give this project a try and hope you really enjoy it. All right, thank you.